Happy Thursday. I was walking this morning and I was thinking about things that hold people back and this isn't something that's held me back over the years because I happen to come from a very open and accepting family and had open and accepting friends because of the diverse area that I'm from. Um, that's one of the great things about being from Rainier Valley is it's an awesome place for mixing and blending with different cultures and understanding different people and being accepting of different people. I can honestly say that I grew up in an area that really does not embrace any kind of, you know, put downs of other cultures or racism or anything like that. I've always been very gracious and happy about that because I know there's places where others are from and, you know, others have families that aren't so accepting, which can make things hard for them. But that takes me to the topic, which is we cannot be afraid to embrace other cultures or be around people from other cultures. The world and the media will have you thinking that these people from different cultures don't accept you or don't like you. Oh, you know, Asians aren't going to like you or, you know, um, East Indian people aren't going to like you, you know, Fijian people, whatever, you know, Mexican people aren't going to like you, whatever. This is all set up to keep us apart. Most of us are accepting of other cultures. Most of us want to have a diverse um, interpersonal skill set. You know, we want to be able to embrace other cultures. We want to travel. We want to witness other cultures. We want to soak up knowledge and soak up wisdom from other cultures. And so if you allow social sanctions or racist family members, racist friends, Maybe you grew up in a racist or closed-minded community. This will close you off from happiness and you will begin to have anxiety as you go through your life because you will feel closed off from all these other positive energies. Does every um, race or area, religion, whatever you want to say, have their negatives? Yes, absolutely. All cultures have their negatives, but the majority of each culture is positive. And the majority of each culture has something that you can extract to improve you as a person. You know, I've been around Jewish people my whole life. I've been around Mexican people my whole life. I grew up around a Sicilian family, really tight with a Sicilian growing up. I mean, I can, you know, I can just go on and on and on about the opportunities that I had to be around people that I have never that I would have never been able to be around if I would have just said, well I'm just gonna stay in my neighborhood and only kick it with or hang around with the people that I know from my neighborhood. Which is a very diverse area. But even so, I traveled outside of my neighborhood and met people from all different walks of life and it improved and opened up my mind. It it, it gave me a lot of clarity at a young age to not you know that that helped me not to close myself in and helped me not to you know engage with people that i noticed that have that closed off mentality or that oh you shouldn't be around anyone but your own kind or you know it, you're going to come across that kind of stuff you're going to meet people that are like that and unfortunately they need to help themselves you need to get away from them you know we're not here to teach people to be accepting of other cultures and other races you know, that's something that they have to learn on their own. The only way you can teach them is through showing. You can't sit there and argue with them and, you know, try and make them, you know, accept your ideas or your comforts. It's a waste of your time. Move on. Embrace other cultures. Get out there. I, I did salsa dancing with my good friend. I loved it. That's embracing other country. I loved it. it it's, 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 it, it was awesome. You know, I did tango with my friend. He's a professional tango instructor. I, I loved it. I've done Brazilian jiu-jitsu. You know, I've done all types of different things. I hiked, which they would say isn't an African-American thing. You know, I hiked when I was a kid a lot with, with a group of professional hikers, boating, all types of different things that uh, most would say isn't like a black culture thing. And, you know, not where I'm from. Where I'm from, we do everything. That's why I freeboard, because we do whatever. We're open-minded where I'm from. 
like I said, I'll continue to scream about being from Rainier Valley my entire life because that is the best place to grow up as far as I'm concerned in the United States. Why? Because you're subjected to everything and you don't have those social sanctions set up in your mind that keep you closed in. Acceptance of other cultures, acceptance of other people, push, get out there, be around different cultures, embrace other people, don't be closed-minded. Everyone loves you, everyone wants to see you prosper until they show you different. Happy Thursday.